This is Radio Japan of the NHK World Japan Network, broadcasting from Tokyo. We are now starting our broadcast in English. For details of our schedule, please visit our website at nhk.jp slash rj. We are always pleased to receive your comments and suggestions through our website or via mail. Our address is English Service, NHK World Japan, Tokyo, 150-8001, Japan. Please stay tuned. This is NHK World Japan. We bring you the news from Radio Japan at 11 hours UTC on Tuesday, October 8th. I'm Eriko Kojima. And I'm Shukasawa. In our top story, the Japan Coast Guard has begun interviewing the crew of a patrol ship about a collision with a North Korean fishing boat. Japan and the United States have signed a bilateral trade deal. And Hong Kong's chief executive has once again criticized protesters in the territory for acts of violence and vandalism as protests continue. And now the news in detail. The Japan Coast Guard has begun interviewing the captain and crew of a fisheries agency patrol ship about a collision with a North Korean fishing boat the day before. The patrol vessel entered Niigata Port on the Sea of Japan coast on Tuesday morning with a damaged boat. About 20 Coast Guard officials boarded the ship for the investigation. The collision on Monday morning took place in Japan's exclusive economic zone, about 350 kilometers off the Noto Peninsula in the Sea of Japan. The fisheries agency says the patrol vessel sprayed water at the North Korean boat and told its crew to leave Japan's EEZ. It says the two vessels collided because the North Korean vessel made a sudden turn. Japan's Prime Minister has disclosed that Tokyo lodged a protest with North Korea over a collision involving vessels from the two countries within Japan's exclusive economic zone. Speaking in Parliament, Shinzo Abe noted that the North Korean fishing boats...